Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, welcome back, friend. It's so good to see you again. So, I am going to be doing another Dutch pour for today's pour. I have some pre-mixed colors here. Um, I've got... Sorry, I'm just like, what do I have? That's a great question. So I do have some silver. <clears throat> this is Extreme Sheen Deco Art Silver that I mixed up one part paint, one part Floetrol, dash of Liquitex, and I do have Minwax in that Floetrol. This is Iridescent Pearl Fine by Golden Fluid Acrylic. This is Payne's Gray by Golden Fluid Acrylic. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> this is Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And then I've got some Carbon Black by Golden Fluid Acrylic. So three Golden Fluid Acrylic, one Artist Loft, and one Deco Art Extreme Sheen. I am gonna be flooding this canvas in this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. So I mix this paint up two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Um, I actually would recommend doing this one to one, but I was a little low on my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. So I mixed it up two to one today. Um, I am going to go ahead and just pour most of this down on the canvas. I still have about half in my cup there. And I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out, get my canvas flooded. Okay, so this canvas is completely flooded. I've made sure the edges and the corners are all covered. I am gonna go ahead and torch it for any air bubbles that might be hiding in there. I don't really see any, but... I, when I torch, um, sometimes you torch to get cells to pop up, sometimes you're torching just to pop bubbles. However you're torching, be sure to keep that torch moving and not too close to the paint so you don't scorch your paint. That's my unsolicited tip for the day. Okay, um, so I'm doing a Dutch pour. Um, I'm gonna be kind of, I wanna create sort of like a branch feel. Um, on the canvas. So I'm going for a branch feel and uh, I'm going to start with the Payne's Gray here. Um, I'm sorry, that's the black. I'm gonna start with the Payne's Gray. They're both very dark. I don't have these labeled. Be careful, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be starting with the Payne's Gray. And this is actually my first time. I mixed all these up last week and I don't normally paint with like pre-mixed paint in bottles, so this is sort of a first time for me. I'm gonna have fun with it. Should probably make sure that's open. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit there, yep, okay. And I'm gonna come down, kinda just with a line coming down here. And I'm gonna also have it branch off right here, okay. So that is my first Payne's Gray. I'm gonna come in with the metallic cobalt blue right on top. And then I'm gonna come in with, actually gonna do a couple of layers of the, this is iridescent pearl fine. Then I'm gonna come in with the silver. And a little bit more iridescent pearl fine. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of the black. Just see black in there, okay. So I normally do flood my canvas before I do my blowout, but I am, going to kind of experiment when I did my waves I flooded parts of the canvas but most of it I just sort of blew out on its own um, and one of my favorite youtubers who I'm sure you all know and love as well Canella um, she never floods her Dutch pours and I think hers are beautiful and amazing but I have always flooded but I'm gonna try to not flood this time <laughs> so I'm gonna start here I'm gonna come out and sort of blow. <laughs> so I started on low, push it down, and then blow it out. Okay. 
And that's, you know, that's, that's how I do it. <laughs> and I think that's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and blow the rest out. So I love this area down here and over here, but I'm gonna add a little bit more over here. I'm basically just gonna add another branch right there. There you go. Simple but sweet. I think I am done here with this right now. I wanted to do something, I'm, I actually really like the composition of this piece. Um, right now I have it like sideways, but I actually kind of feel it would look good going in almost any direction. I think if I were gonna hang it on my wall. Tell me in the comments how you'd hang it on your wall, actually. I'd love to hear that. But I think if I were gonna hang it on my wall, this would be the bottom to the top. It reminds me a bit of a flower, just the way the petals kind of come off. It not, not a, just, it reminds me. <laughs> like of an iris or something like that. I might be thinking of the wrong flower. If if editing Meta realizes the right name of the flower it's reminding her of, I'll go ahead and put it, <laughs> put it down here. I'm really liking it. Simple, it's got beautiful, my favorite colors in it. And I'd love to hear what you think in uh, the comments. So there you go. I am gonna go ahead and bring you in for a close up. Uh, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. It helps out with the old algorithm. If you enjoy watching acrylic paint pouring videos, well, please consider subscribing because that is what I do here. Um, and also be sure to check out uh, a link to my Facebook group in the description below because we can con continue the conversation over there. I would love that. And as always, thank you for watching, but don't go away because I'm gonna bring you down for a close up. <laughs> Bye -bye. Loving this one. I think that it really did come out so pretty. Working on composition and color when it comes to Dutch pours. I feel confident with Dutch pours, but I also don't feel confident. It's sort of a weird combo. So I've decided to focus focus in on them a little bit and work on my kind of composition and color theory when it comes to them and just kind of embrace the Dutch pour for a little while. Um, let me know below what you think in the comments. I don't have a name for this. I never do. I'm terrible at naming my paintings, but if you have any idea for a name, I'd love to hear that in the comments as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.